Sunak takes over as UK Prime Minister amid economic crisis. Rishi Sunak became Britain's third Prime Minister this year on Tuesday, tasked with taming an economic crisis that has left the country's finances in a precarious state and millions struggling to pay their food and energy bills. Sunak, who is the UK's first leader of colour, met King Charles III at Buckingham Palace, where the monarch officially asked the new leader of the governing Conservative Party to form a government, as is tradition. Sunak clinched the leadership position Monday, seen by his party as a safe pair of hands to stabilize an economy sliding toward recession and stem its own plunging popularity after the brief, disastrous term of Liz Truss. Her package of unfunded tax cuts spooked financial markets with the prospect of ballooning debt, drove the pound to record lows and forced the Bank of England to intervene weakening Britain's fragile economy and obliterating Truss authority within her party. In one of his first acts, Sunak announced he would retain Treasury Chief Jeremy Hunt, appointed by Truss, to steady the markets two weeks ago amid the turmoil. His removal would have set off new tremors. Sunak, at 42 the youngest British leader in more than 200 years, acknowledged the scale of his challenge as well as the skepticism of a British public alarmed at the state of the economy and weary of a Conservative Party soap opera that has chewed through two prime ministers in as many months. Next Sunak has to prepare for a budget statement, scheduled to be delivered by Hunt on October 31, that will set out how the government plans to come up with billions of pounds, dollars, to fill a fiscal hole created by soaring inflation and a sluggish economy and exacerbated by Truss destabilizing plans. Truss announced her resignation last week and departed Tuesday after making a defiant public statement in Downing Street, seven weeks to the day after she was appointed prime minister. Truss offered a defense of her low-tax vision, saying she was more convinced than ever that we need to be bold and confront the problems we face. She leaves a conservative party trailing the left of Center Labour Party in opinion polls. Sunak has at most two years to turn its fortunes around. There does not need to be an election until the end of 2024, though public pressure to call an early poll is growing. Jill Rutter, of the Institute for Government, said Sunak's task was to show the Conservatives are capable of governing in a fair way in the national interest, 